this camera. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to tear a little hole out of this. And then we've got, we just take this off here. That's where we pour oil in. And what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to put the newspaper down over this. Like that. Now, why am I doing this? Well, if, I'm, if I do waste any oil, it's not going to go down over the car. And it, it won't go down over the car and I won't have all this smoke and stuff. And if I get a leak, because I did crappy work, then I, I'll, I'll know that the oil is from the leak and not from oil down over the car. So, what you can do now is you just pour in your four, four and a half quarts of oil, something like that. Typically I try to pour in about three quarts of oil and then I put in the last quart using the dipstick. So that's all you got to do here to this. Keep adding oil. So this was five quarts and the oil is about there. It's about 1.5. So five, we've got around three and a half quarts of oil in there now. So what we can do is we can check the level on the dipstick. Take some rags. Come over here. Pull the dipstick out. We, we give the engine 30 seconds or so to it's all over and then so what we've got here is oil is about halfway between the marks. So we're almost full, so probably about another half a quart man, and we'll be done so the wall right there is just about halfway on the mark right okay so I just put a little bit more oil in now I'll check it and you can see here now we're almost at the top we're almost at the top mark so that's good but you got the engine up now is a good time to now that you got the hood up now is a good time to go around the engine and then take a look at stuff like look in there and see what's going on in there oh that looks pretty good and clean actually for this engine considering the age and everything else so you might be wondering what's going on here how come it looks like this stained different color and there's all this flower what is that that flower is baby powder put that on an engine when you want to find out where the oil leak is coming from throw baby powder on and then the baby powder will turn yellow and that'll let you know where the oil leak is coming from last year before I had this smogged and in inspected the oil pan gasket was uh, leaking so I, I replaced the uh, sorry the valve cover gasket was leaking so I had to replace that and when I did um, you know it, it made me pass inspection but another thing that was leaking that I wasn't aware of at the time is inside here is the camshaft and uh, right in there is the camshaft seal now I've got to replace that thing because that's w leaking it's sweating and that gets like all this uh, you know over the engine it's not a big deal but it tends to stink a little bit so to do that I've got to take all this off I've got to take the radiator out I've got to take the timing belt off I did I changed the timing belt around 10,000 miles ago so I'm good for another 50,000 miles I don't want to do it yet but I will do it eventually someday and I guess that'll make another video for YouTube um, another thing I mentioned was um, the oil filter. Why did I put oil in it before I put it on the engine? That's a good idea to do because when you put the oil filter on the engine, when you start the engine up, the oil pump cuts in and starts flowing oil through the system. The first place the oil goes is into the oil filter. And then from the filter through the oil gallery and then through the engine. So if your oil filter is empty, what happens is when you start that engine, that all your, your your crankshaft and all that stuff is spinning and it's not having any oil pressure so it's metal on metal and um, you don't get oil pressure until that filter fills up with oil so it's a good thing to fill up that oil that filter with oil so you know it doesn't have a whole lot of time to um, to, to, to pressurize the system it, it happens faster and you'll see that when you turn the start the engine you'll see your oil light and your oil light will come on for some time and then when the pressure builds your oil light will cut out I just forgot to show you while you're uh, changing oil, you should always check your air filter to see how clean or dirty it is. Find this, you find your intake manifold, you find the big, big breather holes, and that's going to lead to some box somewhere. Um, so inside this box is your air filter, and what you do here is you basically you just get your wrench here, and you uh, 
lefty loosey of course loose loosen these bolts here and then typically on your air filter box you're going to find some some um, so you just want to loosen these screws just a little bit you don't want to take them all the way out and then down here you're going to see a, a little uh, a clasp or whatever you want to call it it's easier to not take this box out because there's other holes and shit like that that you've got to undo so typically there's like three or four hooks another hook here another hook here you can unplug this sensor now I know all you guys don't have a car just like mine but this is how you do it on this car so take this shit off here take all that off take this off and probably be okay to uh, there's another hook here somewhere right here take that out guy here we also want to un undo this I'm doing everything left-handed here now so I can hold this camera of course doing shit with a camera takes twice as long to do anything but hey wouldn't be fun to be pretty damn boring doing this all the time without something incentive to to do it like a video or some shit okay so we just got our four hooks and we take it off so so that's it that's your wall filter here filter now now you can easily take a look at this thing take a look in here at the dirt this one's got a bit of dirt you know and it's like why not change it i mean it will improve your gas mileage and everything else and if you get another filter oh look at that another filter right there so why not change it? Take the filter and you throw it in place, and that's that. So that's done. Now you hook up all this plumbing and shit that goes hooked up. And this thing goes laid in on top again. And again, we've got four hooks, right? We've got a hook here, 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 and here. Let's get this out of the way. See oil right there on your end? That's normal. Don't worry about that. Don't mean fuck all on a big ship, man. Put that back together like that. And um, like that, okay, the two bolts are in. And now you make sure you do up all your clips, all four clips. One, two, three. And there's a fourth one here somewhere. Uh, four. Now, we got this wiring shit, right? Put that on like that. Put that on like that. Put that on. Now this plug goes into the bottom of this sensor again. We just tighten up this screw. And tighten these two bolts, two nuts again. And the air filter has changed. Okay. This is inside my car. Gonna get in now. All right, so lights are on. All lights gone out. We're all good. where I fucking live. Let's go for a quick spin. It's always good to go for a spin. Make sure it's all good. Of course this is the standard so I got to uh Good.